In this video, we're going to discuss how to work with layouts and layers in Construct3. In Construct3, layouts are used to create the graphical interfaces for your games. Layouts are used to build game levels, menus, title screens, and basically anything that the person playing your game interacts with. Layouts allow you to create the backdrops that host the action in your games. Each layout consists of one or more layers. Layers allow you to group objects together so that they may be placed and therefore appear to the player above or below one another. Just like layers to a cake or a lasagna, groups of game components can be commingled into stackable sheets that can be arranged to be above or below relative to one another. Imagine you were making a game and you wanted the scoreboard or some other heads up display component to sit on top no matter what was going on in the game. In that case, you would want to place the visual components belonging on the very top of the screen upon their own layer. Then you would arrange that layer to be the top layer for the layout so it always appeared in front of everything else. It's important to keep in mind that Construct3 is a 2D game engine or two-dimensional game engine. It does not include the rich 3D perspectives possible in game engines like Unity and that are ubiquitous within today's AAA game titles. Nevertheless, we can still fiddle with the third so-called Z dimension or Z order to create the appearance of depth. In fact, this is what layers do. They allow layouts to transcend their simple XY coordinate plane status, enabling game objects to appear above or below one another, creating that appearance of depth. Allow me to do a quick demonstration. Each layout starts with a single layer, which you can rename. Here, I have a background layer which contains the sky. I want my game action to appear in front of the sky, so I create and rename a new layer atop it. My bricks, grass, and my player will all be placed together on this interactive layer. The background layer is still visible, but I've locked it so that it cannot be changed inadvertently. Now what if I wanted a layer that was always on top of the game in the foreground? I could create another layer and place things upon it that would always appear atop the gameplay. In this example, the bushes will always be in front of the player, so he always appears to walk behind the bushes. Just by moving the layers, however, I could move the bushes to the back and the player would appear in front of them. Each layer can be hidden, locked, and rearranged. Layers appear in the order they appear from top to bottom.